you guys jay brought a performance okay um just a quick one here some common mistakes i see on these aod valve bodies there's a lot of mistakes but we're going to go over the easy one all right this position here this is going to be your larger 5 16 inch diameter check ball goes here okay then the rest of the balls are all quarter inch, so quarter inch, quarter inch, okay? Those two positions, very important. These two and these two bathtubs here. And where are we? Oh, sorry, yep, we're gonna go one here. And one here, okay? And then there's a hole here. Uh, I think that for the first year or two they put this one in, but then they tell you not to anymore. So, um, not the end of the world if you put it in, but you don't need this one anymore. So leave that out, okay? So, one large, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, quarter inch, smaller ones, okay? So a total of seven check balls, and that's where they go. And here's the things people screw up on pretty regularly. Now, you're gonna notice this here. It's got a long stem on the end of it, okay? I'll put that back. And then this one here next to it, it's got a short stem. This is very important. If I'm going to take these back out, and I don't know if you can see this, doesn't look like it, but we'll give it a shot. This one here, if you look down inside, there's a hole that goes through the casting, okay? Very important on this one with the hole, and you can also see it's got this little notch here to help identify it. This is gonna take, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. This is gonna take this one, the short, the short plunger, okay? Very important. Short plunger goes there. Do not screw this up. And then your long plunger, that's gonna go there. Now some of the real early ones, both the plungers were short. So you didn't have to worry about it, but most of them, had a long and a short, so don't screw that up. Uh, that's important. You know where the check balls go now. That's pretty damn important too. And another thing I want to show you, and give me one second. Let me go grab the gasket. Okay, I put the gasket on here. It's two different gaskets. This one here, it's got a little notch above here in the gasket. And I'll hold this up so you can see that little notch. Some of them do not, and it's just a straight rectangle. The earlier ones didn't have the notch. So they tell you on the 89 and up valve body, you're supposed to put the notch, the notched gasket on that one. And then if it's the earlier one, you can just use the one without the notch. Uh, they tell you not to mix and match them. I'm gonna be honest with you. I try to always use the notch. I don't care if it's early or late. It's the way I've always done it. It's basically just a modification that Ford did. In the 89 model, they did change the valve body a little bit, and I know they say they changed a spring on your TV regulator, but what this notch is supposed to do, it kind of balances the valve a little better so that you didn't have a valve buzz noise. And I've found it just fine to use that notch on early and late, and helps with that annoying buzz it's not even really a big deal but um, 
you know, I don't know that you ever really notice it in the car. I can notice it on the dyno because I'm right next to it and I can hear it. But typically the buzz goes away after the air bleeds out of the system. So not a big issue in my opinion, but I could be wrong. But that's what I do. I just always use the notch. I don't really think I have problems with that. Okay, uh, other thing I want to point out on this valve body. So you're putting your gasket in. And these gaskets, gonna be kind of hard to show you, but you know, the, they don't line up with the separator plate that good. Only ones I ever seen were I had some really old NOS Ford gasket sets. Those are cut good, but you have some tolerance in these things. Uh, so. Here's what you do. So we're putting the separator plate back on. I just rebuilt this valve body. We're going to put the separator plate back on. Now, if you'll notice, some of these screws, the short ones, had a full shoulder. Uh, and some of them were fully threaded all the way. So you have the, and typically you have two that look like this. They're short and they have a shoulder on them. These are your alignment pins. Some of the early models did not have this. If, if you don't have these with the shoulder, that's okay. But So this hole here, what, what you need to do is put this one in there and put this one in over here. Okay, so that one goes there, that one goes there. And what these do, these two holes are tight and by using the shoulder, makes them a little more tight. This aligns the separator plate for you. So before you put your three cover plates on, use these two screws to align it in this position. Very important, then tighten your separator plate on. Then I've got one more thing I'm gonna show you. Uh, let me I'm going to do that and then I'm going to grab the other gasket. So give me one second. Okay, look at that. Wish I could do that that fast in real life. All right, so this uh, gasket here goes to the case. So what you're going to do, so again, our two alignment holes and it's going to go the other way, but I'm going to, I'm going to just do it backwards to show you. So that's going to go there, and that's going to go there on our other alignment hole, so same thing. Uh, again, but you're going to be installing this on the case now, so those screws are going to be the other direction. This is just for demonstration. So you know what I'm noticing? This particular gasket, man, it lines up pretty good. They generally don't. But I do want to show you something because it still has the same issue. Um, I sell a lot of these valve bodies, or at least I used to. I don't have the cores as much anymore. And it hasn't happened often, but I've had one or two come back. People say, it doesn't work. It doesn't shift. It's this, that. And I'll put it on a unit and it'll work just fine. It's like, what the hell are they talking about? Well, maybe what's happening is this. Um, of course, you know, sometimes people, they just get in a bind for money or something or, you know, whatever. They find something cheaper. Sometimes they just tell you that because they want money. So you never really know sometimes. But uh, anyways, that's not really my point. But see this little hole and see how close it is to the edge of that hole in the gasket? It doesn't line up very good. So what happens to people is when you go to put this on, you go to put the valve body on with this gasket, the gasket can slide a little bit and it will cover this little hole. Well, what that hole is, it's the prop for the pressure regulator. So if you cover this hole, your pressure is gonna go to the moon. You know, it's, you know, it's gonna make three, 400 pounds of pressure or something. It's not going to allow the pressure regulator valve to relieve itself. 
And this here could potentially cause it to not shift or, you know, pressure's just that high, anything can happen. And usually it's not a good scenario. So you gotta be careful of that. And that's why you need to use the alignment pins. You know, they, you can actually make, you know, if you get a couple of these bolts and cut the heads off and you could put those, you know, put their studs up there as alignment, that really makes your job easier. Uh, but that's okay if you don't have that. Just, like I told you, just, you know, use the screws. That one's tight over there. Use the screws that have the shoulder if, if you have those. Some of the early ones didn't, but use that shoulder and just line it up with those. And the other thing I do that makes this go smoother as well, before I put this gasket on, this is another thing that can help you. If you take your assembly lube, or if you don't have assembly lube, you can use Vaseline. And just take your assembly lube and just kind of smear it on your separator plate. And the reason for that is it hold, helps hold the gasket in place. Um, you know, and then again, your alignment pins and just got to be real careful putting this one in. Because like I said, if that gasket slides a little bit on you, and it can, uh, you'll cover that hole for the pressure regulator and have problems. So that's just a tip for you. I think a lot of people don't know that. So just something to be aware of. All right. Hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.